You need saved, folks. Judgment day is coming. There's going to be a day that you're going to stand before God. And folks, yeah, so that's why I'm preaching to you, sir. Get right with Jesus. When you preach God's word, there's a lot of prideful American people. They are prideful in their sin, and they mock Jesus. But I'm warning you that you won't be mocking God when you stand before him. And that day when you stand before God is coming, folks. Judgment day is coming, and your only way into God's holy heaven is to believe in God's holy Son. The Bible says that anyone who believes on the Lord, they will be saved. But you have to believe in the heart. You can't just say you believe with your mouth. God wants your heart. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. God wants your heart. The Bible says that there are people, they honor Jesus with their mouth, but their heart is far from him. They say, I believe in Jesus. I believe in God, but they live in sin. The Bible says they profess to know God, but in works they deny him. Being abominable, disobedient, disqualified for every good work, reprobate. And there are a lot of reprobates in this world, and you have to repent, folks. You have to get right with God because God is not playing games. Fear God and keep his commandments. Get right with God because judgment's coming. And this is what's going on in America. The American people don't fear God. They are prideful in their sin. They don't have no fear of God. And this is why you live ungodly. You listen to that ungodly wicked music and you let the devil deceive you. This is why your heart is corrupted. You feed your lust of the flesh. You sow to the lust of the flesh. And you're going to go to hell. That's what's going to happen, Mr. Oh, no, sir, you got the lamb shirt on. You need the lamb of God. Behold the lamb of God that taken away the sin of the world. Yeah, it is a football game, and it's the best place to preach because there's a lot of ungodly, wicked people out here that's not saved. And God sends a preacher to warn you so you don't go to hell. But you have to repent. You need a strong warning, folks. You need a strong warning because you're living in the danger zone. You're on the Broadway that leads to destruction. And you need to get right with Jesus. Repent and believe on the Lord. Get right with God. Don't let the devil deceive you. Don't go to hell, folks. The Bible says that hell is a place of unquenchable fire. People that practice sexual sin, they go to hell. Sexual immoral people will be judged by God and they will go to hell. You have to repent and be holy. The Bible says to be holy because God is holy. You're not going to be holy if you're drinking alcohol, getting drunk. You're not going to be holy if you're practicing sexual sin. Say that again, sir. Water? Yes, sir. Water is okay. But there's no water in hell. The Bible says that there was a rich man and a poor man, and they both died. And the rich man opened his eyes up in hell, and he wanted some water on his tongue. But the Bible says there was no one to give him no water, because there's no water in hell. Hell is a place of unquenchable fire. And if you're practicing sin, if you're not saved, you will go to hell if you die without forgiveness for your sin. And while you hear the preaching of God's word, you can say today, I don't want to go to hell. You can turn from your wickedness. You don't have to keep being a drunkard. People, they destroy their marriages because of drunkenness. People, they're empty. People, they're lonely inside. 
that's because of sin and you got to repent folks repent and be converted so that your sin may be blotted out if not you're going to hell folks you have to repent judgment is coming don't go to hell don't let the devil deceive you the bible says the devil blinds the minds of people who don't believe there are multitudes and multitudes of people out here who are on the broadway to destruction you are on your way to hell folks and you got to repent god doesn't want you to go to hell well sir not that chain's not going to make you right with god pick up a bible repent from the heart turn from sin though practice righteousness the bible says that jesus is the author of eternal salvation to all those who obey him the bible says to love god is to obey his commandments to love god is to obey his word and god's word has commanded that all men everywhere are to repent you need saved and there's salvation only in Jesus.